Well, it wasn't exactly the Grammys, but Silicon Valley held its own version of a celebrity award show in San Francisco. It celebrated the achievements of tech entrepreneurs and startups with an award called the Crunchy. Mark New was there to find the winners. Sponsored by TechSite's TechCrunch and VentureBeat, the 8th annual Crunchies brought in T.J. Miller, comedian and star of the HBO show Silicon Valley, to host the awards. This is Silicon Valley literally buying or renting the space at the most beautiful concert hall in the Bay Area to throw a fake awards show to give themselves... The Crunchies celebrated the best in cutting-edge tech as Solar Team Eindhoven took home the award for Best Technology Achievement. The startup has created Stella, the world's first solar-powered family car. We want to have a future where every car can drive for free, actually, contribute to his environment. The Crunchy for Best Health startup went to Theranos, which is transforming lab testing by performing speedy and complex tests on as little as a single drop of blood. Theranos' 31-year-old founder, Elizabeth Holmes, already has 18 patents and 66 non-U.S. patents in her name and is America's youngest self-made female billionaire. I'm uh, humbled every day by the people we get to work with and by the people we're surrounded with in this place we call Silicon Valley. And while the celebration of million dollar and many billion dollar companies goes on inside this hall, outside, it's a far different scene. Bring the, bring the SFO. Tension between the tech world and surrounding communities with rising rents are at an all-time high. Most of the protesters target Uber, accusing the mobile ride service of skirting regulations that require taxi drivers to pay for licensed medallions. $250,000 is the medallion. That's not a joke, it's a lot of money. The awards did bring out the charitable side of tech, as Salesforce.com founder Mark Benioff took home CEO of the year. Benioff spearheads the San Francisco Gives campaign and has pledged 1% of his company's time, equity, and profits to charitable causes. It was a good decision because now we've been able to give away more than $100 million. We've done a million hours of community service. And for all the CEOs and entrepreneurs and future CEOs here, think about that. Because you know what? We have a great opportunity to give back. But it was the target of protesters' anger that took home the final crunchy. And the winner for the best overall startup of 2014 goes to Uber. Controversial Uber co-founder Travis Kalanick thanked his employees and customers for helping make his vision of pushing a button and getting a ride a reality. That is a $41 billion Silicon Valley dream come true. Barthew, CCTV, San Francisco.